Welcome back. The new Commissioner of Police in Akwaibom State, Mr. Donald Awuna, says he will consolidate on the successes recorded by his predecessor to ensure continued peace and security. Mr. Awuna was addressing officers and men of the command at a reception to officially welcome him, where he also pledged to the people that he will bring in or, uh, police orient will bring in a people-oriented policing to the state. Receive the support of all assembly, most importantly calling to God to come to play. I'm come here to serve, serve and to provide quality service, quality police, policing services. These services cannot be actualized without the support of the people. So the focus is the people, people-oriented policing, community policing, with democratic policing as the, as the pivot. I solicit for the support of the good people of Aquaibom State that security is topmost in our mind. The Northwest region of the All Progressives Congress is asking Nigerians to be patient with the administration of President Muhammadu Buhari. Speaking at the region's consultative meeting in Katsina, the party's national vice chairman for the Northwest, Al Haji Inuwa Abdul Qadir, wants party members to support the policies of the federal government. He restated the determination of the present administration to fulfill its campaign promises. The opposition whalers, Your Excellency, are still in limbo of reconciling with the harsh reality of being mere grumbling spectators where they once exercised power arrogantly and with impunity against the progress and development of Nigeria. They cannot support offers that which brought them down and exposed them to public ridicule and odium. More importantly, the APC's government is backed by overwhelming, unprecedented expression of the popular will of the electorate against political deceit and economic stagnation of PDP maladministration. The unwavering determination to take the country to the promised land is required to deflect, reflect and defeat the self-serving campaign of calumny unleashed by the aggrieved and disgruntled PDP opposition that has been exploiting the situation for almost two decades. The River State Governor Yesam Wiki has directed that all unauthorized schools be shut. This order was handed down during an interactive meeting with managers and proprietors of private schools in the state. The governor accused the school owners of hoarding information about the day-to-day -day running of their institutions. The River State Government is setting up a special committee that will review the books of the schools and has decided that all private schools will no longer be given permanent clearance. We are going to change every school that is approved by government to teach you to know how many staff you have and how much they are and how much you pay to the state government through the one of the talent so we are starting to have a committee that will come to your various schools, look at the qualification of the teachers, whether they are qualified or not, how do you get them? Because part of the problem we have is that the Ministry of Education refuse to do their work. In essence, every school will no longer have permanent clearance. You have temporary clearance. Pending when we have satisfied your school that you have those who are qualified to teach. Because that may also, in a way, have an impact on the quality of our education. All schools that have not been approved will be shut down. River State Governor Yesan Wiki. Well, a group of uh, Ekichi lawmakers led by the Chairman House Committee on Information, Mr. Samuel Omotosho, have threatened to drag the Economic and Financial Crimes, the EFCC, to court over its failure to investigate the former governor of the state, Mr. Kayode Fayemi. The lawmakers stated this in Abuja after visiting the EFCC headquarters 
to remind the anti-graft agency of their initial petition against the former governor. According to them, the EFCC has failed to investigate a petition it submitted in October last year, accusing him of financial impropriety. There is a compulsory right of every pupils to universal basic education. This right has been a breach. It has been curtailed. It has been pruned by the actions of the former governor of the state, Dr. John Carl Defiemi, and the inaction of EFCC to bring him to book with all the allegations against him. And also want to tell the old world that it is high time the APC-led federal government stopped playing to the gallery by being double-faced when it comes to fighting corruption. We want the APC-led federal government to live by example and to let the incoming generation to know that in this country, it is not some laws for some people and other laws for some people, that nobody is above the law, and that EFCC should be allied to their responsibility. Otherwise, we have no choice than to compel them. When you see an institution that is trying to dodge their responsibility, the citizens have the right to go to the court and approach the court for another mandamus. When we get another mandamus against them, they will be compelled. They will be mandated. This one will not be beyond their own intention. It won't be voluntary anymore. They will be forced to actually look into this petition because the minister is a member of this government. That's news across Nigeria. Thank you for watching. I'm Jokia Rogers.